In this lab, we're going to be covering Faraday's law of induction. And the way we're going to be testing this principle and this law is by using this piece of uh, equipment. And this is a piece of uh, a car from the 1960s, a GM car from the 1960s, and it's the generator that is inside the car. The generator uh, has two major components in it, and it's really nothing more than a magnet on the inside surrounded by a set of coils around this magnet. And the other piece that's kind of attached that we need to use is this wonderful crank or some way to turn the magnet. As we said, the generator is composed of three or two major components. Uh, first thing, this is a cutaway version of the generator. It has an outside shell, protective case. Then it has two components. It has the magnet and the coils. So this is the magnet, the electromagnet. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook up two, uh, we're going to hook up a voltage source in here and it's going to cause this part to become magnetic. And as we turn the crank, we'll see that the magnet will be able to spin. That magnet will be spinning on the inside of this coil, similar to like this. And what you can see is that there's a bunch of coils in this thing, a bunch of wire, and there's actually three distinct sets of coils. There's this loop up here, which repeats every so often. It's the same set of loops. There's one that's a third off and another that's another third off. So you can see the three distinct sets and then they start to repeat themselves. And as we turn this magnet, the magnetic field is going to change as it goes around the current. And because of Faraday's law of induction, that changing magnetic field will give rise to an induced current in these um, loops. And the loops we're going to be able to hook up to the electrodes. And the electrodes we hook up to actually the plugs that are on our case, and we'll be able to measure the current that's induced in these loops by measuring the voltage.